we're eating at Homecoming. And I got the Moonshine Mash, which is a watermelon. Moonshine muddled mixture. And he just got Blue Moon. Wah wah. This one was my choice. What are you gonna get to eat? She's getting the fried chicken and donuts. He doesn't know yet what he's getting. That blue moon looks good. Very good. Look at that fried green tomatoes. I've never seen it so elegant. He's the fried green tomato connoisseur, so we'll have to eat go first. I make some of these at home, but mine look nothing like this. It was some lettuce of some kind. Maybe it's a uh, green. I don't know. That's gonna be a rug. Oh yes, put the greens on it, hold it like a taco. Take a bite, that is my, the Allison method. Oh, I'm gonna watch you, I'm gonna make you feel uncomfortable. Zoom in on his face when he does it, guys. Okay. <laughs> it's green and it's fried all right. Yeah. I feel like I should eat it with a fork and a knife, but she said, hold it like a taco. Go for it. I think she was joking. I don't think so. Here we go. That's insane. Really warm. It's mild tasting. Even the aioli on it's very mild. Well, the issue is, there's four of us and there are five fried green tomatoes. The meat on it makes the bite more meaty than just um, a tomato. Thank you. Thank you. What'd you get? Stop. Yeah, fried chicken with a hot sauce aioli he added. Good. Oh, I like chicken and donuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got the chicken sandwich with the mac and cheese. I'm gonna negotiate with my daughter to trade a donut for some mac and cheese. That's my strategy. Oh, I got the fried chicken platter there, what they're known for, their special Buttermilk brine. Yes, oh, with no. mashed potato. Stop saying that word. He's already, he hasn't even been waiting for anything for that. Alright, I gotta get her reaction. Powdered sugar on fried chicken. Are you starting with that or the donut? You haven't had a donut in a long time. Um, I guess we'll start with this. Hot. Hot. <laughs> you might have to come back to me. You want a fork? No, I have one with you. Chicken sandwich. 
got the homemade pickles on there. I had one, delicious. Homemade bread and butter pickles. See those? Sorry. For the health and safety of everyone, please wear a face covering at all times, except yeah. when actively eating or drinking while stationary. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing. Good, delicious. And physical distancing. Letting the mac and cheese cool down some. I've heard this is like the best mac and cheese on the face of the planet. You dip your leg in syrup. Here we go, my turn. Love fried chicken. very warm and it's been sitting for a few minutes for me. Very good. A bit. What would you give on Adventures by Dean fried chicken scale? It's good. I bit the inside of the chicken first without the crust. It's very moist. That's a good sign of a fried chicken if it's moist on the inside. It's very crunchy. It's a I'm gonna make a bold statement. It's better than Disneyland's Plaza Fried Chicken, I can tell you that. That is a bold statement. It's better than Chicken Guy. <laughs> yeah, it's better than Chicken Guy. It's different from Chicken Guy. Chicken Guy is a different breading. Yeah, it's just objectively guy's better here. than Chicken Guy. The mashed potatoes are very creamy. I think they're actually made with cream cream. You can taste it. Mashed potatoes have like chives on them. They don't have gravy, which is interesting. So it's three chicken pieces. Looks like a breast, uh, a leg, and a, that's a thigh there. I thought maybe it was a wing that was hidden. Then you get a chicken drop, a cheese biscuit, mashed potatoes, and some pickles. So, for the fried chicken meal. It's good. Not much talking's going on at the table. Everybody is chowing down. Everyone was hungry. Have you tried a donut yet over there? There's sugar on the outside of it. And we've moved on to our second set of drinks. I got the same watermelon moonshine concoction, and and uh, what did you get? I moved from a blue moon to some type of Oktoberfest. It's pretty smooth. heard so much about the mac and cheese. If I ordered a mac and cheese over sweet potatoes, this, this better be good here. It's very good. Like, it's a combination of cheeses. It's a combination of cheesy goodness. Look at that. The hummingbird cake. We're not sure if they just brought us one slice of the whole darn thing. And because she made a hummingbird cake for his birthday, and it was this recipe, 
We're gonna have her do the first take. Lighter. This is a denser cake. It's very good. And then there's a, a syrup on the plate, which we didn't have. I don't think that was a part of the recipe they released. It's it's very it's very good. It's a three layer cake with the buttercream frosting in between. Actually, cream cheese. Why am I saying buttercream? It's a cream cheese frosting. Very good. It's all like Donkey Kong now. He's got some decaf coffee too. That frosting is unbelievable. Wow, that meal was so good at homecoming. This one was my choice for our anniversary dinner. I loved it. Did not disappoint. Oh, so good. Yes. The fried chicken was good, the mashed potatoes, but your mac and cheese, I don't know how much, how many sticks of butter was in that mac and cheese and the, how many cheeses were in there. That was crazy. I watched you twirl it like it was uh, spaghetti, Italian pasta, trying to wrap the cheese around your fork with the corkscrew noodle. Uh, I thought it was low cal. <laughs> I don't know about that. So on the menu, they have fried chicken, fried chicken and donuts, pork, and like a pulled pork and fried catfish. That's kind of the main ones. Then they have like a chicken sandwich, and what else do they have? Uh, let's 
so you got it right uh country fried steak oh yeah that was the other one country fried steak and they have hamburgers and then they have a couple salads so pretty much if you want something fried or a burger this is the place for you it's definitely not low calorie my watermelon uh moonshine or whatever it was called it tasted like a limeade it was really good i didn't even know if there had alcohol in it so i couldn't even taste the alcohol so i would say that's probably a good sign of a drink and uh, cast compliment to Allison, our server, for our anniversary. We got a free piece of hum the famous hummingbird cake. And when I say a piece, I mean basically a third of the cake. So it was so awesome that she said she bought us her piece. And that was so nice of her. She was a great waitress and had a, we had a lot of fun with her. So we loved her. Thank you, Allison. And with that, I think we're going to go shop a little more. A fun evening at Disney Springs. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell. So you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.